If I were to begin my journey in BDO again in 2024, here's what I would do for my gears and here's some advice for you. First of all, what we're going to do is actually going to check the grind tracker and then see where is the efficient grind location. So right here, we're going to click best grind spots. And then as you guys can see, we can see now where is the good locations to make money. But if you guys can see over here, they have 400 DPs and 390 DPs and they're very, very high to get up there. However, if you guys keep scrolling down, the best one that I can see would be 260 AP and then 340 DP at Redworks right here. You guys can make about 1.2 bill every one hour. And so this is going to be my location where I want to be grinding at for the most efficient for silver grinding. And so coming back to my gears now, let's talk about some free stuff because who doesn't like free stuff? First of all, if you guys get it up to 61, then you guys can get a guarantee any weapon for Tet Blackstar. And so if you guys are Secession main, then I would probably get, you know, like Blackstar Tet on the main weapon. And if you guys are Awakening, then maybe I would recommend you guys getting the Awakening Blackstar if you guys are Awakening player. However, for me, uh, let's have a scenario that I'm playing Secession Berserker. So I'm just going to get a Tet Blackstar right here for free. If you guys are not too sure how to get to level 61 very fast, there is a method that I made on YouTube. It literally only takes 2 hours to get power leveled and you guys can get there really really fast. And so highly recommend it. If you guys are not too sure, just click the top right link that I'm about to pop right now. Once you guys understood that, now we're going to talk about some free stuff on accessories. So for example, um, if you guys make a seasonal pass, and graduated basically then what you guys can get is getting these golden tickets from fugar and then you guys can exchange that golden ticket to fugar and then get like these kaposha necklaces you can get kaposha belt and then you can have two options either getting the ring of kaposha or getting the earring um, for kaposha as well on the third one for a ring maybe or for the third ones i would maybe recommend getting the ring one so this is my choice for you guys so first one get the necklace first and then second belt and then third that's what i would get for kapusha ring right there just to get more ap in the very beginning after that don't forget the free magnus quest what you guys can do is do the magnus quest if you guys are not too sure i have a full guide for that one as well so make sure you guys do that and once you guys do so now you guys can pick four of the options what you guys want to get for boss armors so what you guys can do here for example to vala gloves we can get that bed gloves and then get it up to level 10 for kafras and then we can actually turn into the best gloves in the game which is called don's glove there's two method i guess um you guys can either get beg's glove for pen from magnus and then get it up to level 10 and then you guys can turn into don's glove on um, buying the flames in the market they're about like 600 mil right now is super cheap so you guys can get don's glove or you guys can get rng carried and so if you come back to the game if you guys do the weekly bosses um for black shrine um you guys can actually get a you know chance to get just don gloves right away and so you guys can maybe do that so in the meantime you guys can maybe just work on that every weekly and then hopefully you guys get rng carried and so you guys can maybe get another armor instead and just hopefully that you get rng carried for the gloves but usually that's not the case and so yeah it's really up to you guys to, if you want rng scenario or if you just want to grind for the flames then that's what you guys can do as well and so if you guys do pick a glove then what i would recommend is getting the flame right here in the market look how cheap it is compared with all other flames so right here flame of honig is only literally 360 million in the market super cheap meanwhile all the other flames are about like one bill or 10 bills i mean on you know like two builds and so i highly recommend you guys getting the flame of honig and so that's why I, maybe i recommend you guys getting the gloves for magnus quest so if you guys do want to play safe then maybe coming back here i will probably just pick beg's glove get it to a pen and then just add my kafras in here to level 10 and then eventually just get down's glove just like that and so that's what i would do in that scenario but for now let's just talk about free stuff so we just get a free pen bags gloves right here and then move on to the next scenario i need to get the artifacts as soon as possible the best one i would say for pve grinding would be extra ap against monsters um in order to get two of these one of them you can do winter quest and then you guys can get one of those and you guys can actually get an earring as well which is going to be called bronto's bolt and it gives you guys actually really nice accuracy however you do lose one more ap and so just keep that in mind if it's harming your ap bracket then you can maybe use it back with you know two two vala earrings 
and go from there but you know, if you want more accuracy this is where it's at in the scenario for crystals i recommend just putting four rage and if you guys do so you guys will get hidden ap plus 17 and then once you guys start grinding at like demi human locations with your red orcs then i recommend using three wars with one rainbow which is iri descent i light stone and then if you guys just use that then you guys can get it up to like 30 damage for there and so that's why um that's the go-to basically when you guys are grinding at demi human location and then after the free stuff right here, now what I can see is changing these to reforming your gears. So if you guys talk to Jatina, then she will turn the Tuvala shoes to like, you know, boss armors, for example. So right here, we can change to reform Ergon shoes. The reason behind that is right now we have 316 and if we change to Ergon's, we get 318. So yeah, it's just free two DPs that you guys can get. And so that's the reason why we want to change to Ergon shoes right here. And then for helmet, um, we just want to change to Griffin reformed. And the reason behind that is just getting all resistance 5% right there. And so that's why it's really nice. And then lastly, armor. Um, You guys can either get dim trees or red nose. But people will recommend getting the red nose because once you guys reform your gears all the way up to 5, then you guys can get it up to 10, for example. And then after that, you guys can add to Kafras to level 10. And then you guys can make a Falling God yourself. And it's cheaper method that way. If you guys go for Dim Tree, it costs more. And so a lot of people will just tell you guys to get red nose just for that scenario. Well, personally, I would probably just get the reformed dim tree and just leave it on zero like this and then just buy the red nose in the market maybe and then just, you know, get it up to Kafir's level 10 and then you guys can also put the flames in it and then make yourself a Fallen Guard and then just getting up to duo will be another strategy or you guys can literally just buy Fallen Guard as well if you don't like any RNGs in this game, right? So there's two methods for you guys, either, you know, make a reform for red nose get it up to five and then after that get to pen and then add level 10 kafras and then after that make yourself or you guys can literally just buy it in the market for me i'm just gonna reform my gears and then i'm just gonna buy the dim tree or probably just buy the fallen god one of the other and so i'm just gonna leave it like this and so this is the free stuff that we just talked about and so with all this free stuff it costs about 27 bill but it's basically free and you guys can get it up to 260 ap 253 for awakening and then 312 for dp which is not a bad start with this ap and dp what you guys can do and you guys can start grinding at like Krotuga, ancient runes that's a really good place just to get artifacts and re get really good money then you guys can basically make 840 mil every one hour which is not too bad or you guys can grind at imps and like all the other fun locations and start grinding for red potions mp potions stuff like that i do recommend just start grinding at the red locations um to get red pots and mp pots and so yeah just grind there you guys can make easy money plus you guys are working your step to get the red potions and so that's what i would recommend right there and while you guys are grinding you know hp mp potions you guys will get some enough money to buy maybe the next stuff which i'm going to talk about right now so next right here i will start working my tuvala ring into guaranteed ring of crescent guardian right here and then getting myself up to pen um as soon as i can in order to do that just back everything out in bdo and then press i and then you guys can see this right here old moon's guild support just click on that and then now you guys can just plug and chug all your ingredients right here and then just go from there and then once you guys make this everything what you need then now you guys can basically make a pen guarantee accessory what you guys want so when you guys are early gamers, I really recommend you guys getting this Pen Ring of Crescent Guardian. And the reason behind that, it gives you guys the most AP. And that's the reason why you guys want to get this. But for me, I'm in a late game now, so I basically have better um, rings. And so that's the reason why, you know, I got like Pen right here, which is 21. So that's why I'm using now Pen Tongrad earrings right here. And so that's the reason why I went for that strategy. And so yeah, that's what I would recommend you guys is getting the Ring of Crest Ring of Crescent Guardian first and then going from there. So eventually these two is going to fill up with, you know, Ring of Crescent Guardian, but step by step, what I'm going to recommend you guys is going for this first. And then after that, if you guys get any Kafras now, always add it on your armors right now. Let's do step by step as well for this and then just go from there and just get this to level 10 as soon as possible and then after that while we're working this up and this up you guys can also maybe try to work on getting the awakening black star if you guys can so that way you guys can get you know a little extra ap against monsters like this right here and then going from there keep in mind though if you guys are main in succession berserker or any succession character you guys can easily change this tech black star into like god air for example and then get this up to duo if you want to enhance it yourself 
and go from there and then if you guys are awakening then maybe change this back to blackstar tech and then make your awakening to you know god here as well and then get it up to duel and the reason behind that is just to get that little more ap so right now 268 and then 269 and then 271 and so that's the reason why just to get three more ap we want to get a uh, dual god here right there in that scenario but once again i am succession so what i'm gonna do is probably do something like this and so i'm gonna leave one tet right here and two dual god here right here the reason why we stopped the tet right here is because if you guys get a j hammer from events you guys can easily just go for pen attempts and so that's the reason why we want to have one tet black star and then one god here for example so that way you guys if you guys have crown stones then this is a good place to put crown stones if you guys have a j hammer then you guys can literally just get rng carried and just tap the pens just like that and so that's the reason why we have one god here one tet black star like this in this scenario and then after that we do want to change this to vala to either two options which is getting the black star tech as well or you guys can just add the pen kudum if you guys want and then adding the kafras just keep in mind if you guys do go to for kudums um you guys can actually gain one more ap from level 7 and then 14 as well but then keep in mind how expensive it is right here getting to 14 is 47 bill and getting to level 7 is 20 bill it's a lot of money and so if you guys don't want to go that scenario then just easily just go to black star right it's 14.6 bill and it's really really good personally i think it's a good option and so it's up to you guys either you guys can go for kudums or black star it's up to you personally i like black star and so i'm just gonna go probably tap black star like this and then use my weapons like this in this scenario after that after making this to pan um trying to add this to level 10 i will probably start working on my earrings now which is the cheapest one i would recommend is getting tongue guard earrings right here and then get both of them to tet it's super cheap right now it's five bill in the market so you guys can easily you know grind maybe like six hours of grinding and then you guys can get one earring in that scenario and now look where we at we are at 276 ap and then 325 dp and then around like you know during these times you guys also want to work on your journals so for example the easy easiest ones that i would recommend is doing the land of morning light you guys do all that then you guys can do the weekly shrines as well so that's why i recommend doing all that as well and then once you guys hit level 61 you guys can do both of these give a papu and mother of warning so that's super easy and then barrier of infestation i made a guide for that it basically it takes you guys five weeks to do it and you guys can actually start doing it with just pen to vala gears and so that's what you guys want to do right there and then lastly you guys can do the igor bartelli's adventure log that will take some time and so start doing that as soon as possible if you guys can and then lastly there are some you know divs and then doran which gives you guys two ap right there but these ones are kind of tricky to do and so i do recommend you guys just working on the easiest one that i recommend right here first and then work on the other two if you guys can and so if you guys do all these other journals that i recommend you guys to do so then you guys can get like up to 283 ap and 331 dp which is really really good start for you guys to maybe start grinding at red orcs and then for those people who needs more dp then you can just can easily change this to don's glove now and then get it up to duo for example and then get yourself a little more dp like that and then if that's not enough then now you want to start buying the other ones and then going from there since the most expensive one for the best armors um would be the ator shoes and so i don't recommend going for that direction right now let's check out the flames which one is the cheapest one right now in the market so the cheapest one would be probably the flame the red one so what we want to do is probably just going for the um the armor first and so right here i'll probably just get like you know red nose for example and then get myself up to level 10 as well and then just turn it in and then boom 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 and get it up to duel just like that and then there you go voila now you guys have it 283 258 easy clap at grinding at red orcs and so this is what i would do right now in that scenario after that then you guys just work you know the way up step by step so from here now you guys can start working on your rings again same thing and then when you guys start grinding at LV locations then you guys can get the work on your cups and then get yourself you know starlit ring right here and get your three percent critical hit damage same thing with here as well and the tongue grad you do want to change it to something better which is like black disto eventually so, so that's why we don't want to put cups on these ones yet and then work on your helmets getting up to Lebresca as well eventually and then going from there and then you do want to pre-order the Vel's heart it does take a long long time it took me like six months to get it and so you do want to invest in that as soon as possible as well 
and then yeah just start changing these to black distal as well eventually and then you guys can now put it into cups like this and then get yourself hidden ap like that and then after that you guys can get yourself up to you know maybe tries and tests and stuff like that and then get yourself vel's heart into bless vel's heart as well eventually and just step by step like that and so that's what i would do and then lastly just work on my shoes up to just getting a pen at least and then just getting up to level 10 just to prepare for the ator shoes so with this much of ap and dp i can start basically grinding a hex now and then get myself a vel's heart to blessed and then exalt it and then get more dp and then if you guys know about this trick as well which is adding hunter clothes you do need to buy the tailoring coupon in the game so if you guys type tailor this is where it's at it will cost about 530 mil and there's about like 200 orders right now as well and so it can be kind of contested to get this but if you do have it or if you just want to buy it in the market then you guys can basically add your hunters in there and so that's what i would recommend just to get one more dp like that and then after that now you guys are spending more money on you know your weapons and stuff like that and just going from there and so if you guys do get rng carry maybe this can be like pen for example and this will be probably pen eventually as well and then now you guys can start working on you know more uh ap so ap you guys do want to stop at 305 and the reason behind that is if you look at the APDP brackets, the juicy spot for AP would be 305. And if you guys do so, then you guys can get 8 AP. But then after that, like 309, you only get 4, 3, 2, 2, 3. So it's not efficient to go down there as much as you want. You do want to just stop at 305. That's the juicy spot right there for AP. And then DP, you just want to hit 401. So that way you guys can get the most efficient percentage for bonus percentage DR all right so 401 and you know 305 is where it's at so that's where you guys want to stop so i just need four more ap and then you know like 10 of dp and so journals if we finally do all this let's just mark everything and then after that um now we can change our kaposha necklace into like three options which is um ordering or latens or tongue grad stuff like that and so for for me i went tongrat because i do like this black spirit rage 20 percent and then now you guys can add a moonlit as well in the market super cheap you can buy that um, cup and then just add it just to get um, 150 health points just like that and then now we have 308 ap right so it's not really necessary to get more ap at this point now we do want more dp and so now we can probably start grinding at the locations to make more money to make this to like to level 20 if you want or just stop at 10 and then start working up yourself to get a toy shoes and if you guys do so and make yourself a duo then you guys can have this much of a ap and this much above dp in this case um we do have hard stock on our sub weapon and so that's the reason why maybe kudum can be also a good option because now you guys can slowly add you know the Kafras and make yourself more dp like that and so that's the reason why some lot of people actually go kudum method right there just to get a little more dps just like that and so if you guys do went for kudum then this is what it will look like which is 310 ap with 403 dp just like this and that's it you basically beat the game congratulations now what you guys want to do is put yourself this to pen if you want and get this to tries if you want as well if and just going from there and then start changing your gears and then eventually you will just have 20 on this kudum or probably a pen black star and then now you guys can also add fury the garmoth heart in there and stuff like that and yeah and just get yourself even over highly geared and this is what i would do and this is my advice for you guys so hopefully you guys learned something um yeah if you guys are new to bdos kind of didn't understand what i was kind of saying then check out my other gear progression i do explain much better there but yeah hopefully this helped and i'll see you guys next time ciao for now